This is a guided meditation on God's loving word, an insight you can use to tap into your subconscious just before you go to sleep and when you wake up. These are deliberate and careful insights meant just for you. To help heal you from hidden trauma that you through this meditation are about to realize. You are not a victim. You are a survivor as you are coping and doing the best that you can. You are a celebration of that survival because surviving has made you strong. You have come so far in your life and you have had many successes and the pains were only challenges meant to make you strong as they were meant to keep you strong so that you never, ever give up the good fight. That is your calling in the Lord Jesus Christ, your Savior. Now is the time to get comfortable and let yourself relax. Relax into the comforts of your bed and lay quiet to focus on your breath. Listen and gently take in a deep breath and exhale. Deep breathing has a natural calming effect as breathing calms your mind so that your heart can be present and keep you present in the moment while giving you a knowing that you are safe. You are safe. Close your eyes and just Now that your mind is starting to relax, with your eyes closed, feel the sensations of your body. Relax those tense muscles in your shoulders. Feel your head and your shoulders sink deeper into your pillow as you slowly and gently relax. Starting at your feet, you notice a warm tingling sensation beginning in your toes. This sensation moves up your ankles and into your calves. Oh, it's God's warmth of his loving comfort. It comes with peace that allows your legs to relax and release all tension from the day. You are safe. You are warm. And you are this calming effect surges within your torso, lingering in the area of your diaphragm. This is where your intuition resides, within your gut, underneath your ribcage. And this is what controls your breathing. With your body feeling comforted by God's love, your arms begin to feel this warm, tingly feeling. You are feeling renewed and rejuvenated with a deep sense of passion for yourself to become acquainted with who you are and with whom God knows you to be. You are in God's will. You are safe in this moment, and as your lungs fill up with air once again, you feel God's state of peace. There is no judgment, no pain. You are reminded that God is in you. 
this feeling of warmth and love you have constant access to whenever and wherever you go remember this love comes from God and it gives you peace and courage just by connecting yourself Is with you. He is with you now, and He has secrets about you. He wants you to know. He wants you to stop living in the past, and this is why He must reveal to you hidden things about you that you cannot yet see. These things are not bad things, but you have judged them by viewing them with negative emotions. These were once painful things because, as a little child, you could not yet understand. So you played hide and seek with these things, and you played a trick on yourself to never seek what you emotionally hid from yourself. Now that you are an adult, times are different. And it's time for some of these hidden thoughts and behaviors to come out of hiding. You are safe. And God only wants to reveal to you what you are ready to know. God wants you to know because he wants you to grow. Ask him questions and seek answers in your dreams. God is for you not against you. God, why am I having to live a repeated pattern of heartbreak? The question can be found within you. Heartbreak was your past. It is not your future. Your emotional attachment to your past has hindered you so far. However, your emotions no longer control you. Your heart does. As you are able to control your breathing, you are able to control how someone makes you feel. are able to look at your feelings today, to see the familiar pattern of your decision making guided by emotional responses. You have an answer to your question. No one causes you to feel anything. You are in control of your feelings and emotions. And because you hid those feelings away as a little child and refused to seek them out, someone else has uncovered those hidden feelings. Someone else has uncovered what you wanted to remain hidden. They did this without realizing it. They stumbled on your hidden emotional territory to which you emotionally responded to. You tried to keep those emotions hidden and laid blame entirely on the people who caused you to feel emotional discomfort. You have run from what is uncomfortable in the past, but now it's time to become healthy. And it is healthy for you to look at the emotional discomfort from your adult perspective. Today is the day you begin to take responsibility for those hidden emotions you had as a child. You, as an adult, are not here to judge that child. You are not to lay blame on anyone or even yourself. You are here present in this moment and from hereafter to take responsibility, to be present in this moment and each moment hereafter. Just breathe. 
and allow God's love to guide you. Be patient and kind to the inner child. Be compassionate, keeping no records of wrongs to your inner being. Do not yell at your inner child. Understand your inner child. You did not know. Now you do. You are an adult working with God to live in self-control. This is loving yourself. Loving others without judgment allows you to see that they are like you in many ways. Be kind to them. Just as you are no longer enabling your emotional behavior, do not enable theirs. You decide what is emotionally healthy and stable for you. A person who does not love themselves is unloving to you. An unloving person towards you is not a friend to you. God is your friend, and you are a friend to you. You love yourself by helping yourself to see that you are in control. You can control your emotions. They do not control you. You cannot control the actions of others. You can only control how you emotionally respond to their actions towards you. Take back control by not allowing your emotions to control your decisions. This is what others will see and will respect you as they see you respect yourself. Where there is respect, there is trust. Where there is trust, there is peace. Where there is peace, there is love. To know God is to love Him. To know Him is to love Him. To know yourself is to love yourself. And to love yourself is to know yourself. This is how you love God. He made you. You are the apple of His eye. He has you right where He wants you. You were created for good. The bad in your life is the refining process. You are being refined in the refiner's fire. The bad in others exposes you to the bad that is hidden in you. You are not to judge it, but to deal with it by accepting it and changing your ways now. The child of your youth needs to be self-parented. Love and understanding leads to growth and maturity. Your life is a celebration. You are surviving because in your surviving you are growing and in growing you are learning. You are God's student. You are his child and you are worthy. He loved you before you were born. You are loved because you are love. Heartache brings out the unconditional love for yourself so that you will allow others who have unconditional love to give, you will see it, know it, and accept it. Accept, dear child, you are unconditional love. Heartache was meant only to strengthen the love that is in you, so you can unconditionally love yourself, so that you can unconditionally love God and unconditionally love others in the same way. Heartache is teaching you all of this. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. God is love. 
Jesus loves me. I love myself. I am love. I love others. I look forward to others loving me unconditionally. I was raised on conditional love and I have been emotionally responsive to conditional love. I am no longer hiding from conditional love. Instead, I am willing to recognize it and no longer accept this for myself. I am love and I deserve to be loved unconditionally. God loves me unconditionally, and so does his people. His people are my loving family. This is where I belong, wrapped up in unconditional love. I no longer emotionally struggle with my past. My past is rooted in conditional love. I am choosing to walk away by healing from conditional love. I am choosing to leave the memories of conditional love behind. I am love and I am making positive progress in my life as I become a state of being of unconditional love. I am renewed. I am refreshed. I am alive with the awakening of unconditional love guiding my day through me. All who I meet will feel my love and I am attracting God's chosen into my life and my heart. I was born to love as I am a product of God's love. I love myself. I am love. I am loved.